Yeah, I, I went there for like all of us growing up. There, they didn't have a Wonderland when we grew up, and that was the highlight. I remember going to the C and E with five, ten dollars in my hand, and you'd be there all day. Uh, that's going to be the first time I understand it's ever going to be closed. But these are some of the sacrifices that we're we're facing as a society, and uh, I'm going to miss it. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that you make sure you go every single year, since I can ever remember. Uh, so it's really going to be uh, really going to be missed, and especially the kids that have been going there for years. You know, especially our our age group. You know, the baby boomers. We all grew up there. We'd we'd go down there, and those are the days that remember you'd be able to hop on the bus and go to the Dufferin Gates and and get off with a bunch of friends. You didn't have to worry um, about anything. Your parents would let you go down there. And we had we had so much fun. We'd get there in the morning. We wouldn't come back till late at night. And again, with five or ten dollars in your pocket. But you know, what I love. You remember those dollar spaghettis there? You used to have the dollar spaghettis or the double bubbles, and and uh, you used to be able to survive for quite some time. I think the spaghetti was 25 cents, and you'd be able to play the games and rides. Here I go reliving our. But it's it's something part of our culture here. It's part of our heritage uh, going back over a hundred years. So I, I, I'm going to miss it. 